Hey folks, Josh Karieski again from Industrial Logic. The subject of continuous deployment comes up a lot, and one particular question was recently raised in a Twitter thread, and it was about, do you deliver value when you deploy to production? Now, we in the continuous deployment world recognize a distinction between releases and deployments. A release is visible, it's public. A deployment is different. A deployment may not be visible to the customer. It might just be something that you're working on, you're changing something, but it's not quite ready. And yet, you've checked it into the trunk and it's gone to production and it's in production. It's not necessarily being used yet. That happens all the time. Deployments may or may not be of value to, to you or your customer. Now, it could be that you deploy something and only a fraction of folks see it, right? The 1% and then you get some data on that and you might, you know this story. It goes from 1% to 3% to 5 to 10 and then maybe you make it completely public to everyone, a feature like that. That's a different thing and that might be how you're approaching it when, when you deploy something. Just make it visible to a small percentage of people. But some deployments are simply a work in progress. You're moving the architecture from one design to another a little bit at a time, and both old and new are in place, and they're in production. And maybe the new isn't getting used yet, but eventually, as you continue to work, you're gonna switch from old to new, make sure everything works, and release. Meanwhile, there's been a bunch of deploys, steady deploys going to production. Continuous deployment is both safe delivery of deployments and of releases. Both are valid and you don't have to demand that everything you deploy adds value to the customer. Some things just lower the risk for you and get new code into production.